I was sitting at my office desk and in my office there was a window to my door that was shut and you can see me where I'm sitting and I had my head bowed and I was praying and, and then all of a sudden I just hear what sounds like a tornado burst through my door and it's my daughter and she stops and it's like Ooh! can't believe it right I just busted in the door dad's praying and she goes out and I hear her being like no you can't go in there to my wife he's praying and I look up and I look up and I invite them in one of the things that I was told when I first became a pastor was that your office has to be open to your family all the time. Your kids have to know that they can come in at any time. If, if your kids ever feel like when dad's in his office, he's doing something more important than me, then they will look at that as that the ministry and God was always more important to them in a way that never included them. And so I've always let my kids know, you can come in whenever you want. The only caveat is if I have somebody in there, would you just look through the window first? They've ignored that. They still burst right in. If you've ever been with me in my office talking and my kids are around, you know they just come in. Sometimes they get they back out cheapishly. Other times they stay. And I have to say, an A-B conversation, you got to see your way out, right? Like in a way that they can understand. And so here's what the Lord showed me. The way my daughter came in, and then once she saw that she could come back in, she just jumped on my lap and threw her arms around me. So she entered my presence with absolute irreverence for my space or my time or what I could have been doing. And she wasn't there to ask for anything. She was just there to throw her arms around me. She was there because she missed me. From the time I kissed her goodnight last night to the time she saw me this morning, she missed my present. This is what the Lord's showing me. What God wants is a room full of people, not who are reformed or filled with knowledge, but a room full of people who want the presence of God more than they want anything else in their life who will do whatever it takes, will burst through the doors, will burst past pain, will burst past disappointment, and will say, Jesus, it's you that I want. And if I, if I thought the illustration was done, I got to be done. It's okay. You'll still make it in time for the de consecration of the prayer room at one o'clock. So don't worry. I know that's what everyone's waiting to get home to is the consecration of the prayer room at one. I'll be done. If I thought the illustration that God was showing me was over with, a few minutes later, another one of my daughters, one that has been brought to us through adoption, who is still working on that kind of level of irreverent love came up to the door and a friend came up to the door and I was now standing off to the side, but she said, no, you can't go in there. That's my dad's office. And the same daughter who I love and who's been under my house and who I feed and kiss goodnight and hug and take care of, she loves me, but there's still a barrier. Up. There's still something there that she can't get past. There's still something there that I don't know if I'm allowed to enter in, even though she's been told the same thing my other daughter has. You can enter in whenever you want. You've never been scolded for doing it. I'm here. One of the hardest things about adoption is breaking past that barrier. And most of you in here are Gentiles like me. We have been adopted into the family of God. These aren't our stories. These aren't our people, but this is our Jesus. That's our God. And sometimes we find it difficult to come to him because as much as we know he's good or we want to go, you don't want to know what happened? I walked over to the door and I opened it and her and her little friend were standing there and she just wrapped her arms around my leg. And here's the thing, even if you're like that with the Lord, he will come and open the door for you. He's not sitting in there waiting for you to bash it down. I felt like God's like there. Now you have what you need to go say. Talk about creation. Show them what it is that I have hidden throughout the books of the Bible for those who will look for it. But guys, if you want Jesus today and you want all that he has to offer, he's doing a new thing in this church and he's doing it in this valley and he's doing it in this world. And I invite you to today respond to this call.